Welcome to my channel. Let's talk about hacking. Hello everyone, this is Nusrat. I'm a hacker and a fitness enthusiast. Today we're going to talk about hackers, female hackers. Now don't get me wrong because um, gender doesn't matter. As long as you have the skill, you can be an alien and still be a hacker but the reason I'm talking about this today is because I have seen that there is not enough information out there on female hackers I mean if you search it up on Google or something you will see that there is a top list of female hackers and uh, there are more right now than before but I'm coming to that part later what I really want to talk about is okay for a moment think about the word hacker think about a hacker an image of this guy in a hoodie would always appear in our minds, right? A guy wearing a mask in a basement, doing all sorts of... <laughs> but it could be a girl, right? It's 2021, 20, so why isn't that shift there? I feel like there is just so much potential out there. There are kids who are into programming. There's so many female warriors there. You know, we're doing hacking for the good and we need to celebrate them. We need to recognize them. And uh, if you go through the internet, I will right now, you will see that their number of female hackers have significantly increased. And there are most of them, I mean, there are a few who, um, who are a bit unethical. Most of them, I mean, there are guys who are unethical as well. So but most of them are doing phenomenal and we need to appreciate them we need to appreciate us we need to appreciate hackers re regardless of gender but um, it's really time that we mention these hackers and one of the reasons why I feel that more and more women should really come into hacking and they already are uh, is because I feel like um, some in some way there is a shift of opinions for example when i became a hacker it was primarily because i wanted to keep the internet safe for women and children i mean i felt like women are trolled bullied most cyber crimes are against women as well as children and i felt like i wanted to do something about it and uh, later i just i just really loved the process. I love reverse engineering. I love finding out how things work and how to make them not work or, and stuff like that. Always for the good, of course. But I feel like, you know, we need, we need more women, perhaps. There would be different agendas, right? Before, people used to think that hacking is something to do with stealing and robbing and uh, the bad stuff. But I think that now it, the definition has changed. Moreover, we live in a world where technology is like, it's doing everything for us. We're doing everything on technology. You're watching me on YouTube. So when everything is dependent on technology, one, if we are not keeping up to how things are going, to how things are advancing, most of us will be lagging behind, you know, I mean, right now, you can switch on light with technology, later you can brush your teeth with technology, and what if someone hacks that? Let's not go there, but, you know, we need to protect ourselves, I mean, of course, there are other people doing it, but we need to know how things are done. And another reason I feel that hacking is really important is because what will happen when, you know, some evil robot takes over the world? Who will be there to save you? I mean, I'll try my best, but you need to save yourself. Okay, jokes apart. I really think that those who are passionate about learning new things, about how things work and how to not make them work, they really should check out hacking and they could contribute to this, you know, to make this... Uh, cyberspace more safe safer okay safer and I feel like it's a responsibility 
on all of us ethical hackers regardless of male or female that you know we have a big responsibility we need to make this place safe and today i'm talking about female hackers you're going to see some amazing female hackers in the list right now and uh, i just wanted to take this moment to celebrate all of us so without further ado let's get started so we have jude jude Milan. she began her career as a computer programmer in 1967 and it is said that she led to the early development of internet she then worked on hacking and even formed the f hacking group Cypherpunks. Sorry, Cypherpunks. Okay, and it's believed that she, it was one of the first uh, hacking groups um, developed by a female hacker. However, something that's really positive is that she had nothing to do with anything that is criminal, right? And uh, she passed away in 2003. However, it is said that she's really the one who um, kind of led the front line because uh, one of her best quotes says that hacking is a clever circumvention of imposed limits. So that is what hacking is, right? It is all about finding ways to really get over the obstacles we have. Next we have Raven. Raven is often recognized as one of the most gifted and intelligent hackers in the world. Okay, she had graduated high school at just the age of 14 and she got a college degree at the age of 18. She was one of the first female to give a presentation at DEF CON. So, one of the most remarkable things about her is that she does not want to be identified as, you know, uh, because of her gender. Rather, she wants to be known for her skills. And she's definitely one of the most top-notch hackers out there. She's currently helping corporations in protecting their data. And she's a consultant, lecturer, author, and she is a hacker who is doing hacking for computer security and for the best of interests. Up next we have Xiao. Xiao is a Chinese hacker and she became famous at just the age of 19. She formed a female hacking group called China Girl Security and this is one of the largest female only hacking group in China with around 2200 members. Remember, it has only female hackers, so there are about 2200 female hacking female hackers in her group. So that's a pretty cool thing, right? Next we have Ying. Yin Cracker is also a Chinese hacker. She can be seen as a professor who teaches her students the basics of hacking. So this um, approach is kind of different because uh, she's more of, you know, she's more into teaching, she's more into spreading the beautiful art of hacking and by doing it herself. She has never been into any mess. She has never done anything illegal or unethical. She works as um, a way to make the internet safer. She works uh, as a ha hacker who is hired by different companies uh, to work for them to make them more secure. Other than that, there are many, many hackers which we know of. Um, you can talk about Joanna, who is known for her vulnerabilities in Windows Vista. We can talk about the model uh, Diana Cook, who learned hacking to kind of avenge uh, someone they wronged to her. They did a cyber crime against her, and she uh, learned how to hack, and she kind of got back to that person. For this reason, she's known as the Hacker Fairy. Um, there are lots of other hackers from different different places who have really uh, shown shown out. We can talk about Susan Hedley. Um, she was kind of uh, one of the members of Sarah Philippines who uh, was specialized in social engineering. We can talk about Natasha. Um, 
there are lots and lots of people who are in the world of hacking and who are female. So let's see now what does Google have to say about it, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the female search engine and let's see what it says when it comes to female hackers. Okay. So here we see Lava was best female hackers. Who is the best female hacker in the world? Okay, it talks about someone called Anna, Ying, as I've said, Raven, True. Some of the names are common. Can girls become hackers? I mean, this is what I was talking about. It's such a, it's such a new thing for people out there. People are asking on Google, and it's actually a popular question that whether girls can become hackers or not. Or the opposite is true are hackers mostly males. According to a study uh, conducted in 2020, I believe in 1999, it is said that about 20% of uh, people in cyber security are female, which is still less. However, the study says that the number has definitely increased. Uh, let's see, can a girl become an ethical hacker? Why would people even ask these things? And do they ask, can a girl become an ethical hacker? Who is the number one female hacker in the world? Are most hackers male or female? So, according to this, about 10% are female and some 3% are male. Well, uh, we come from a time when there were like 2% or 3% or 5%. There were definitely less. And right now, there are definitely more and more female hackers out there, which is pretty cool. So, um, I mean, it's really something to celebrate that women are more in security. Um, there are many, many women in our neighboring countries as well. Uh, I, had, I was just going through a list of female hackers in India, and you will see that there is a long list of female hackers in India. You will see that there are many hack female hackers in USA. You will see that there are many hackers in Russia. So, I mean, um, there isn't really any proper statistic because there seems to be so many of them in 1989 for a long, long time, but there is really no groundwork on it. So I believe that there is more and that according to the study and according to all the statistics that we have, the women are really rising. So that is it uh, with female hackers. I guess we all have um, learned something new that women rock. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments below and subscribe to me if you like my intro music then you can go to the comments uh, to the description i have added the link there i really made this music a long time back and i decided that okay this sounds a bit hackery <laughs> so i'm going to use it on this video and if you're interested into hacking let, let me know what makes you interested and uh, another thing I forgot to add is that when we have female hackers, there's going to be less of, can you please hack my girlfriend's Facebook account? And I hope so, because I feel like female hackers are a lot more responsible. I mean, maybe I'm biased, but I don't know. So you guys let me know what you think of this, and I'll see you in the next video.